You right guys, so this pops up a lot this time of the year, especially for people in the UK, because UK weather isn't that great, especially throughout the winter to this time of the year when we're starting to get better weather. So people are starting to dig their barbecues out. Mold, how do I get rid of mold off my grill grates and inside my barbecue? It is so simple, it's ridiculous. All you're gonna need is some tin foil, a decent pair of gloves so you can get in there working around it while it's really, really hot. And leads me on to my next one, heat. Elbow grease, that's it. Let's have a look inside. I've not opened this since November. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be quite bad. So let's get rid of this mold, super easy, super quick. Let's go. Okay, so we've got some charcoal left from our last cook. What I'm gonna do is just chuck my fresh charcoal straight over that, bottom vent fully open, top vent fully open. That's a good top tip to have, is to let that heat get rid of most of that mold first before starting to scrub away because you don't want to be breathing in those spores. Okay, so we're gonna shut the lid, let that heat do its thing. Okay, so we've opened that up just to get it rip roaring. As you can see, we're just getting past 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's just take a quick look. As you can see all that smoke, that's mainly where it is actually baking away that mold. As you can see there around the sides, it's already cooking away. Just be patient, let the heat do the work first, then you've got less scrubbing to do. So, like I say, all you need is tin foil. You can use the real thin stuff, it doesn't matter. Scrunch it up into a loose ball, that way it will groove round the grates and then you can use it like a brush. Please don't use those wire brushes with the thin wires because you use that and the wires snap off, stick to your grate, you cook some food, someone swallows it, not good. As I say, I've got barbecue gloves, but I also like using these. They're welding gloves, they're actually quite cheap. They go a long way up your arm, so they protect you. There we go, right tool for the right job. Okay, so let's just start. Look how easy that's coming off. Super, super easy. As I say, you can, you can get it in around the edges. That's the great thing about the tin foil, to be fair. The amount of people I know that go into their barbecues like this and just chuck it all away because of this, it's super simple. Do not fry it away. Good to go. Okay, so now's the time to re-season those grates while it's nice and hot. Great for cast iron skillets and stuff like that, just for seasoning. You can use any sort of oil that's high temp, you know, canola oil, avocado, that sort of thing. So just be careful, because obviously that's hot down there. You might get a flare up, but we're just gonna now season the grates back up. Whee! See what I mean? Be careful. Best way of doing it is take it out, safest way. Okay, so put them back in. That's it. Okay, I hope you got something from this video. I'm just trying to share my knowledge of what I've learned over the years of most effective way of doing things, and especially with mold. And at the end of the day, if you want to prevent mold, I mean, yes, use your barbecue all year round. That will prevent mold. There is also that simple fact of if it's outside, I really wouldn't put a cover on it. I've never had a cover for this, to be honest. I've had this about three and a half years. It's still going strong, it's a really good bit of kit. If you put that cover over, you're just gonna hold in that moisture, rust, worst enemy, and mold. Also, if you're keeping it in a shed, 
or garage or under cover, keep those vents open. That will prevent the mold as well. And of course, clean it before you put it away. But if you're anything like me, you've got loads of barbecues, it's inevitable. Unfortunately, it does happen to me quite a bit. And I will admit that. So with that being said, go cook something exceptional. I'll see you when I see you. Cheers, guys.